everybody, welcome back to The Vanity Case. It is day two of me trying to get back on the YouTube game um, and it's going, it's going well so far. I mean, I'm actually filming something, so that's a start, right? Like I said in my previous video, there's a change of background today. I think I prefer this background, but I'll probably change my mind when I'm editing this video. Um, but I'm standing today. Feels a little bit unnatural to stand whilst filming a YouTube video, but I'm doing it all for the decor behind me. I'm standing for aesthetics. I'm doing this for you guys, okay? Be thankful. I am super duper excited about filming this video today because it's been a hot minute since I filmed a thrift haul. Um, by a hot minute, probably I mean a hot year. And I have accumulated <laughs> quite the collection since then. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna try and keep it brief. Um, so I'm gonna jump straight in. We've got some clothes, we've got some homeware bits. So let's go jump in. The first clothing item I've bought is from a charity shop. Um, we all love a good old vintage blazer. This one I found in a charity shop in Bridge North. <laughs> if you're a long time subscriber you'll know that I bloody love Bridge North. It's a place near where I live and there's lots of nice charity shops there. Um, this little baby is originally Marks and Spencers. I think it's probably, well I know that it's pretty old because the label's pretty old inside it. Tried it on, love it. Um, it's got the navy blue and the dark green and black uh, tartan with these really nice gold buttons it looks super duper cute on in fact let's just put it on why the hell not oh I didn't think this through you probably can't even see it I'll put a cutaway in but I absolutely love that the way this fits okay I'm gonna take it off now I was super chuffed with this find cost me four pounds for goodness sake four pounds this is what I love about charity shops you get some amazing vintage finds and also it's really sustainable for the planet, for the environment, we like uh, sustainable clothing. Um, so this baby is a lovely little number and even better, oh you're going to love this. So when I saw the type of tartan that this is, uh, I thought I'm sure under my bed somewhere I've got a pair of trousers in a very similar tartan, I thought there's probably no way that it's going to be the exact same tartan because that would just be too good to be true apart from... <laughs> It wasn't too good to be true because you girls done it. These are a pair of high-waisted tartan trousers that I bought from Collective a few years ago. Um, they're, a, they're a little bit tight on me, um, but you know what? Sh shove the blazer on top, covers a multitude of sins. So that was even better. Um, a matching trouser suit, not even being bought from the same place. So that's always a good time. The next thing I have to show you guys is also another blazer slash jacket. Um, I didn't actually buy this one. This one was inherited from my dear Nan. Um, she honestly, she comes downstairs sometimes when I visit with just some absolute gems. She's like, yeah, I just found this in the cupboard, just thought you might like it. The majority of my winter coats are from my Nan. Um, she's an icon. Uh, this is a sort of relaxed, oversized blazer. I was about to say they've got some, you know, it's got some really nice gold buttons on, but one of them's missing. I'll have to try and find a way of fixing that, sad times. It is lipstick red, my favourite colour. Um, on the inside the label says it is pure new wool and it was originally from Selfridges. Oh, look at me, I'm so bougie. I love this, it is really nice. So that's that one. The next thing I have to show you guys is a homeware item um, and it's Oh, just, just gonna ruin my background here. Um, it is this, I mean just your standard just your standard candelabra. I feel like everyone has one of these in their homes. No? Uh, my dad actually bought this for me. This was from an antique centre in Exmouth. Uh, I love it. I saw it and I was like, that's a bit of me, that is. This was £15, um, which is so good for what it is. I think it adds a really unusual vintage antique uh, twist on this bedroom. Um, and it also goes very nicely with the next piece of uh, homeware that I'm going to show you. So the next item um, is this antique fire guard. Wow, it needs a dust. Oh dear. So my dad bought me this for my 20th birthday. Um, I'd seen it in uh, an antique place and I was like, wow, that's so cute. I absolutely love that. Don't know where I'd put it. 
uh, but I love it. And then my dad went back and got it for me, legend. Basically, it's a fire guard uh, that they used to have in the olden days when there was like actual fires and not central heating. I'm holding the leg, the, the legs are removable, <laughs> but because I have a fire now, I thought instead of mounting it on the wall, I'll just put it in front of my fire. Um, whenever people come and visit my room, they tend to say, oh Ellie, like this looks like a National Trust property and I'm like, that's the best thing you could ever say to me because that's what I'm going for. The next item I'm going to show you uh, is another coat. Shock horror. You can tell that I haven't filmed in a while because a lot of the things I'm showing you are winter wear. But you know, better late than never, right? Here we are again, back with the woolen coats. Uh, it's a nice tan one this time. Uh, this I got from a charity shop in Bath. Uh, it cost me £20. Uh, it's originally a Macintosh New England. Again, nice little detailing with the gold buttons. It comes to about mid-thigh on me um, and I love the back. Uh, it's got this cute little uh, overlapping layer to it and she's got another winter garment. <laughs> oh my god. This is a chunky chunky jumper which I've actually worn recently. It's definitely, I mean, it's April but you can still get away with a chunky jumper here and there, no? Uh, it's got a nice turtleneck, very golf chic. I think it looks really cute with my denim jacket, some black jeans, and this hat. Do you see what I'm going for? If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this outfit. <laughs> plug, plug, at eccentric Ellie. Uh, the details are down below and I'll put them on screen now. <laughs> Give me a follow. I'm, I'm really not seasonally relevant, am I? We're going to accept it and move on. So, I think that is about everything for today. Um, I could go on, as I always can. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love filming thrift hauls. I love filming hauls of any kind. I just like talking, and I like talking about clothes. So if you did enjoy this, then please let me know down below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video, which won't be six months away. I promise. See you guys soon. Bye. Honestly though, I just love a beret. Why do I choose now to try on all of the hats I have? Focus.